FBA on this question. Uh, Kristen Welker, our colleague here at NBC, attempted to ask the Department of Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen um, where the toddlers, where the babies are, um, and this was her answer. Take a listen. Where are the girls? Where are the young toddlers? I, I don't know. They, I'm not familiar with those particular images. You're saying that they are being well cared for. So how can you make that claim if you don't know where they are? I, it's not that I don't know where they are. I'm saying that the vast majority of children are held by Health and Human Services. Maria Elena, how can these parents find their kids if the Secretary of Homeland Security doesn't even know where they are? Joy, <clears throat> this is so unconscionable. Secretary Nielsen should absolutely resign and we should all be demanding that she resign. She heads up a department that is doing the job, the dirty job of torturing and traumatizing these children as the congresswoman was just talking about. Um, it is unacceptable that in the United States, um, a country that has long um, held up our legal system um, as a beacon and something that should be a model for the world is now basically the system of law and disorder. It is chaos created by this Trump administration where you don't have the secretary who doesn't know where these children are, where these girls are, where all of them are. There's no accountability. There's no sense of responsibility that what they are doing is unlawful, immoral, and frankly just does not belong. Um, any child does not belong um, in jail. And so, um, you know, what we're asking um, in this moment is that, you know, after this executive order that was frankly just a political and theatrical move to try to deflect um, the pressure that the American people who said, off limits. We cannot allow this to happen in this country. That executive order has actually created just more chaos. What we're seeing is a repeat of what we experienced at the beginning of this administration when they signed, hastily signed the executive order on the travel ban, on the Muslim ban. Um, similarly, when you have people drafting executive orders that don't have the expertise, this is what we get. Chaos, mm -hmm. disorder, and frankly, it flies in the face of family values um, and a system that should be orderly, um, where parents should be able to know exactly where their children are, should know what the process is to be reunited with them, and that it should be done immediately. Um, and instead, we are looking at the president possibly permanently separating these families.